verifying voltage and power hookups on a commercial washing machine. All you need is a voltmeter. Any voltmeter will do, it doesn't have to be fancy. You're gonna wanna check the label on the back of your washing machine, see what voltage the manufacturer says you should be getting. How many wires, this is the hot wires, there will be one additional ground wire, and if it's single or three phase. Now this one's three phase at 208 to 240. So over here at the power terminal, it's gonna be labeled L1, L2, and L3 for the hot legs, and you have your fourth ground here. Now once you have your three hot legs installed uh, with your voltmeter, you should be reading 110 volts from L1 to ground, L2 to ground, and L3 to ground. When you read across L1 and L2, you should be getting 220. Same with L2 to L3. So individual legs to ground, 120. Legs jumped across should be 220. If you have one leg that by itself you're reading 220 when you jump it to ground, uh, you might be running a phase generator instead of getting your third phase from the power company. In that case, just make sure that your 220 leg is on L3, not on L1 or L2. Now for a single phase machine, you're just gonna have L1 and L2 and ground. So you would have L1 here, L2 here. They should both be reading 110 to 120 volts when you go from L1 to ground and L2 to ground. And again, you should be getting 220 volts when you jump across. Now, if you have a fourth wire and it's 220, but single phase, that means you have a neutral and a ground. You'll have a larger power terminal like this for the fourth wire. Now you can, to make it work, jump neutral to ground, but do not leave the machine installed that way. There is a chance if something goes wrong with your wiring and the neutral wire gets broken, rather than working correctly and tripping your circuit breaker, it will energize the entire case of the machine and anyone touching it will be electrocuted. So neutral to ground is for testing only. It is not for permanent installation. Uh, single phase, 110 volts, the easiest one. You're gonna have one hot wire, a neutral and a ground. So your black wire, your hot wire will go to L1. Your neutral will be labeled N, and then your ground will go to ground. And with that, you should be reading 110 volts from your hot to ground or from your hot to neutral. Now, when you're reading voltages uh, for the 110 volt stuff, anywhere from 110 to like 124 is acceptable. Anything over or under that, you're gonna wanna look into the problem. You shouldn't be reading under or over that. Same with 200, you should be 208 to 240. It's important on those machines, if you have transformers, to check them. Some of them have separate legs for 208 or 240, depending on what you're getting from 